Hello, old ones. I know you are here. You knew I was coming before I appeared. You leave me a print, but always just one. I'm jealous, big guy. You have too much fun. You're there one moment, then gone the next. Or is it my mind on which you play tricks? Hello, old ones. I know you are there. Please don't be mean and give me a scare. For I give you respect and your place. And hope as I leave, there's a smile on your face. Greetings, everybody. This tale in Greyhawk. The Sabe poet here. Hope you're all doing well. The rain has finally lit up. We got some much needed needed rain today, but so not complaining. Actually, I wish it didn't let up. We need more, as does a lot of places, not just in the east. It's worse out west. I'm sure you all know. Um, on a side subject. Some would say it's related, but I'm not going to go there. I'm going to call it a side subject. I've had more encounters in the UFO field. I've had so many sightings. Some of them I was with people. Most of them I wasn't alone. My first sighting was back to... I was real young. I was playing in a field, and I watched this object seem seemingly tumbling out of the sky. It was a very odd, elongated shape, and it was just, it looked like it was falling end over end. And it just, it just fell out of the sky, slowly turning as it fell, and disappeared over the horizon beyond the tree line of the hills. Just waiting for an explosion. There was no crash sound. It, it looked huge. It looked like it was miles and miles away. That was wild. And then I had several other encounters, but uh, I've had them in broad daylight. When I lived in Cheyenne, Wyoming, I saw a formation of silvery disc-shaped objects. Now, those of you familiar with the West, uh especially the high plains you can see for miles and miles and miles on a clear day from horizon to horizon and this formation of discs i saw were not that far above the deck and they covered the entire distance horizon to horizon in a matter of seconds and of course there was no sonic boom whatsoever but they were just as shining off the sun as silvery dimes it was amazing um i had a daylight sighting about 10 years ago right here in ethica i was at a friend's house up at sap sucker woods road which is close to cornell university and having a cigarette outside because you couldn't smoke inside and it was a beautiful day with a lot of white puffy clouds out and they just happened to gl glance up and there's oh gee a star this bright in the daytime what's going on there and then i see it twinkle and shine and a little bit and I, I realize that's a metallic object of some kind with the sun shining off of it stationary and as soon as i had the thought to go in and get my friends to witness this scene it zipped behind the clouds so that was an obvious mind read if you ask me I'm not going to say coincidence there uh, a lot of people say a lot of these sightings are secret government craft but a percentage of them aren't will we ever know these answers I don't know I still see them to this day just the other night I was watching a satellite go over. And very dimly, I noticed just on the other side of it, there's a, another one 
but it's traveling like five times the speed of the satellite. And then I see it join another satellite looking object and zoom off together as one. That's just a few nights ago. People don't look up. Look up, people. That's your final advice for this episode. <laughs> you guys have a good night. Keep on keeping on. The Stalin Greyhawk signing off for now. The Sabe Poet.